Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to update your rooted or modded Nexus 6P from the, let's say, the N2G47W to the latest N2G48B, I think it is the July security update. So I'll be using Flashfire for this tutorial. Of course you can use Fastboot uh, both ways, or you can use Flashfire with me. I'm just going to be using Flashfire because uh, that we don't need to update our radio or bootloader images this month, uh, which is great. So I'm going to be using that and let's get started. So first off, of course, we're going to need to download a few things here. So we're headed back over to our PC. So we're going to be needing to download the factory image or the full OTA or even the OTA that you get from the system update dialog. So you can use any of these varieties. I'll be using the factory image because it is most versatile to me, most useful. So uh, you can need to accept the terms and uh, conditions here the first time you use this site. Then we can click on the right hand side here, click for Angular for Nexus 6P, scroll down a little, and you can see the N2G48B uh, July factory image here. And click on this blue link and download it, and here is the uh, sum here so you can verify that you've downloaded the right file and it's not um, corrupt in any way. So next up we need to download Flashfire. This is available straight off the Play Store. This of course requires root access, and probably, most likely, you're already rooted. And just a special note for people running a custom ROM such as Pure Nexus or Paranoid Android or Resurrection Remix, uh, you don't, you won't be using this, or you won't be flashing this factory image unless you plan on doing a factory reset with that in TWRP, which is just fine. And if you're on Android O, you probably want to stay on Android O unless you do plan on going back to Nougat, uh, because the Android O security update is supposed to come uh, maybe in a couple weeks, so you might as well hold up on that. So if you're on the normal factory images, or sorry, normal Google software, then you can just um, use this. So let's continue. So once you've downloaded Flashfire, we also need a few things, especially for those using Magisk. Now, this is a heads up for people who are using SuperSU still. Uh, you don't need to download anything like this, but if you plan on using Magisk uh, after this security update, then this is probably the best time to change right now. So if you plan on switching over to Magisk, or you're, you are already using Magisk, you'll need to download the latest Magisk zip file. Now, if you want SafetyNet to pass currently, at least today, you'll need to be use the uh, you'll need to be using the beta version of Magisk, the latest one. See for uh, whatever the latest version is, just click on this orange download link here, and that'll download the latest version for you. Uh, but I guess when it returns back to the mainstream, where the non-beta Magisk will be able to pass SafetyNet, you can just download the normal one. But for this instance, we'll be downloading the latest beta version of Magisk. So I'm going to click that download button and then save it somewhere. I've already saved this, so just keep that in mind. But if you plan on keeping SuperSU, then you do not need to download Magisk, of course. And I'll show you how to do that in Flashfire as well. So there will be a special step for both SuperSU and Magisk users. So currently we have our device plugged in, and you'll need to make sure that you enable this device for USB file transfers. So we need to tap on that and tap on transfer files. And we need to go back to our computer here and of course copy our factory image so I have it here in my vast collection of factory images so I want to wait for that to copy and over and we'll also head over to our Magisk folder where we've downloaded the latest version of Magisk here it is and we also need to copy that to our internal storage but if you're using SuperSU you do not need to copy Magisk all you need to do is copy the factory image over to your phone now, which shouldn't take too long it's about it says five minutes but really it's going to be about couple seconds. So we'll just wait for that to finish up and we'll get back to you on the phone. Alrighty, so everything is copied over and I'll just repeat once more, you do not need Magisk if you don't plan on using it, okay? It's as simple as that. But if you want to use Magisk and um, I don't see why not, then go ahead and download that. So we've done everything on the computer, we don't need that anymore. And of course all this can be downloaded on your phone as well. I should have mentioned that beforehand, but you don't need a computer to download all this. It's just uh, better for me, as I can use my download manager. So we're going to head over to our device here, and we can just check that Magisk is installed. Everything works. You can see it's all fine, and and it passes safety net currently, which is fantastic. Next up, we're going to open up Flashfire. I'm just going to put this on the home screen here. I'm going to open that up. I'm going to grant it root access. Here it's going to enumerate partitions, doing all that good stuff and we're going to wait for this to work. We're going to tap on agree, uh, no thanks, not at the moment, and we're going to press this little plus button, 
tap on flash firmware package and then locate the factory image which is this one it's going to scan the archive for all the files we need and we're just going to wait here a little bit maybe I'll fast forward this until we get the list of items to check alrighty so we've finished scanning the um, factory image here what we need to do is keep boot system inventor and we just want to uncheck recovery because we want to keep TWRP now the modem and secondary bootloader firmwares we don't need to touch that because they're already up to date especially if you came from the N2G47W the previous one uh, so that one and the next one so this current one for July so June and July don't have a difference between the bootloader or modem firmwares so once we've got those three checked we can press the tick button up there now uh, this is the point where we need to split off into two roads so people that are using SuperSU, uh, you can leave this as is right now and press flash. Now for Magisk users, we need to do something a little bit differently because from some testing today, I figured out that FlashFire can't actually, or Magisk doesn't work within FlashFire. Uh, for some reason, this, or at least the beta version doesn't. So we need to flash that manually in TWRP for now. So for those using Magisk, we need to tap on Everroot and make sure inject SuperSU is not selected. On the reboot menu, we want to reboot into the recovery mode and uncheck preserve recovery. And then we want to hit flash, like so. And this will make it so our phone will reboot into TWRP as soon as it is done flashing the factory images. So the boot image, the system image, and the vendor image. And then we'll reboot um, our phone into TWRP where we can flash Magisk by the normal ways of tapping install and swiping to flash. But those using, well, those that chose the SuperSU option should just reboot their phone normally and they should still be rooted and all that. So I'm going to wait for this, these images to flash and I'm going to be back when our phone boots into TWRP but those using SuperSU should wait for their phone to boot into Android. Alrighty, so we're in TWRP now. So what we need to do is swipe to allow modifications Again, this is only for people that are using Magisk or wanting to swap over to Magisk. I'm going to swipe, oh, sorry, tap on the Magisk zip file here and swipe to flash. You can see this time it works properly. Last time we'd get down to about mounting the Magisk image and then it would say Magisk mount failed. I'm going to tap on reboot once it's done and we should be rooted with Magisk on the latest version of Android after this. So I'm going to um, fast forward this until we reach the end. Okay, so we've booted up now. Let's have a look at Magisk. There we are, we are rooted now, which is fantastic. And we can check that flash fire still works. There we are, so we are properly rooted. And of course, we are on the latest version of Android here. If we scroll down, there we are, the N2G 48B. So thanks for watching guys, be sure to subscribe if you'd like to see more of these videos. You can find me on Google+, Twitter and Discord, links down below. And as always, I'll talk to you all in the next one.